Hello power pickers! This video is not about what you should practice on guitar. Today I show you a simple and motivating method on how to follow your practice schedule. Stay tuned! There are tons of videos on YouTube on how to create your own practice schedule. The big problem is that you spend a lot of time creating a practice plan, but then you don't follow it. The thing is that we tend to only practice topics we already know well, or that we end in the improvising or noodling all the time. It happened very often to me that I sat down with the guitar and didn't know what to practice next. My biggest issues were having too many goals and not planning my practice sessions. This method helped me to put my plan into action. The first thing you need to find out is how many time per week you can invest into active guitar practice. Secondly, you need to find out which session length is best for you. For example, I found out that I'm not able to concentrate longer than 30 minutes on the same topic. I can invest one hour effective guitar practice time per day. Every week I sit down for 10 minutes and plan my week like this. On the top I write down my weekly goals. For this week it is improving alternate picking speed, learning licks from Michelangelo Bedio and improvising with alternate picking. On the right side there are 14 blocks, each block stands for a practice session of 30 minutes. I fill out each block with a practice session. This week I want to go through a lot of alternate pushing exercises, some finger exercises in chromatics, one open string arpeggios and some TV practice as well. After filling out the practice sheet, I print it out and cut the strips with my scissors. When it looks like this, you're ready to pin it on your magnet wall. Each time I practice this week, I tear off a topic of that sheet and follow the practice routine. Now my weekly goal is not to practice 7 hours, my weekly goal is to tear off all the paper strips of the wall. This way I make sure that I followed my plan and that I also trained the routines that I don't like. This method motivates me extremely. Some weeks I'm able to tear off all the strips and still have some time left. This time can be used for noodling or improvising or whatever makes fun for you. If you got inspired now, try out my practice method and follow your dream. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell to not miss my upcoming guitar practice routines.